back to kick off the conversation. You announced recently that you aren't running for re-election. Can you dive into why? Well, it was a tough decision to make because it's been an incredible honor for the First Lady Catherine and I to be serving the citizens of North Dakota. And it's especially hard if you think about a a coach when you got your, your team in place and you're winning championships and everybody's coming back, no seniors are graduating. It's a hard thing to step away, but we've got such a great team built and we're hitting on all cylinders in North Dakota. We've got the lowest unemployment in the country, some of the highest, we have the highest workforce participation, highest GDP of any Republican led state in the nation, $60 billion of capital projects from the private sector that are trying to come to North Dakota because of our tax and regulatory environment that we have. We've been lowering taxes. We've been uh, you know, driving our economy forward. So a tough time to leave, but I, I believe in term limits. Uh, we, don't, we didn't have them in North Dakota. We got them passed on the ballot during the time that I was in office. And I've served two terms and we're charging ahead. We have about 270 days left till next December. And we're gonna make, make every day count. And then uh, of course I came from the private sector. I was working in the private sector right up to the day before I got sworn in as governor. And that's the, the one thing I can control is going back to the private sector. But meanwhile, uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure that uh, President Trump wins in November because I know as a governor, I have a front row seat of what it was like to serve first four years under President Trump and now under the Biden administration. And Biden administration, it's all headwinds uh, for a state like ours, with agriculture, energy, technology, the amount of regulation that's being poured on us uh, out of Washington, D.C. is almost incomprehensible. It doesn't make any sense from a policy standpoint, but it's a, that's, that's a battle that we have to fight. It's a battle that I'm fighting this year, uh, helping to uh, campaign for President Trump because uh, North Dakota and the United States can't take four more years of Joe Biden. You mentioned that you first started in the private sector. You're then governor for two terms. Are you returning to the private sector, going back to business, or can we expect you to wade into politics? Well, I'm gonna choose a path where I can have the most impact. That's what brought uh, Catherine and I into uh, running for governor in the first place, was we realized that, uh, you know, from the business standpoint, there's great things that business can do. And if you're successful, uh, we were blessed with, with that kind of success that we were able to do some philanthropy, but I realized, wow, uh, government spends so much money, even in a little state like North Dakota, our budget uh, just for K-12 is $2 billion uh, every biennium. So if you wanna make a difference, I mean, I'd say to the business leaders that are out there, if you've ever thought about you know, jumping in the arena on the political side, we need business leaders uh, that know how, to, know how to solve problems, know how to drive for solutions, can have a huge impact. And we, we've had a huge impact and look forward, whatever we do next, whether it's private sector or whether it's more public service, it's gonna be focused on where we can have the biggest impact.